and then to tell you about how you can make some easy miniatures if you just look at the pictures and catalogs. Maybe you've already thought of this, but maybe not. And one time I saw an article about a lady who makes miniatures out of trash, you know, gum wrappers, bottle tops, so anything goes in the miniature business. So here we go. Now, if you want to get some cheap miniatures, you do it yourself. Keep your eyes on catalogs. Well, this is a game, a picture I cut out of a catalog. I just put it on a piece of cardboard. If you want to get fancier and make a little box for it, you can. But you can cut pictures out of catalogs and make your own box. A box where I put it onto cardboard. So if you just want a regular miniature store where you just see boxes sitting up on the wall, I think this would be a very inexpensive solution for you. Um, books, another thing. Put books on a, piece, on a piece of cardboard. You could make them more elaborate, but books. Like I said, here's <clears throat> a tea set that I was cutting out of a catalog. You can put that on a, on a cardboard. DVDs. Look at the size of these. They were in an advertisement. These Disney DVDs. All you do is cut them out, make yourself a little box, and there you have some nice little DVDs for your dolls. Now, pictures for the walls. I think, oh no, my brother got this frame. But anyway, this picture is, you guessed it, cut from a Spillsbury catalog, or bits and pieces. And it's perfectly fine. It's a nice large picture for a wall. You can fit them underneath. Here, once again, you guessed it, this nice photo picture is from a puzzle catalog. And we put a backing on it, that orange is poster board, tape it into the frame. Um, you probably, yeah, you might want to um, put a better backing on it than that, but uh, this one has been glued down with regular glue, you can see the lines, but I would say go with glue stick next time. You can even make furniture out of paper. This was in some paper furniture from catalog, and we got it. And this has survived. It's a beautiful little rocking chair. I mean, they can even sit in it. You know, it's a chair. They can still sit in it. It's paper. So you can make furniture out of paper. And this paper's not that thick either. So, it's pretty sweet, huh? Alright, now we get to important things with beds. This, these are sponges. I got these at the dollar store a couple weeks ago. I was pleased that they already had a covering on them, so it feels like a perfect, ready-to-go mattress. So, sponges are what you want. See, now it's an improvement over these we made ourselves. You can't get the kind of sponge that gets dried out, because that would be terrible. You've got to get fake sponges. So we got the sponge, we chopped it in pieces, like bigger pieces for larger beds, and put material over it. And here we made like envelope beds, folded them like an envelope or like a wrapping paper and just sewed them along the side. Sort of makeshift, but effective.